In this video, I'm going to show you how to create these potion bottles. We're going to make siren tears step by step on this DIY. Okay, so to make our siren tear potion bottle for an upcoming party or event, you will need one glass jar. It can be um, anything from a mason jar, a fun colorful jar, it can be an old um, liquor bottle, spice jar, whatever you may have around the house or something they pick up from your local craft store or dollar store. I actually got this on a clearance rack at my local craft store for 70% off, so this was a great buy. Next, you will need a cork to close that up with once we are done. Some bottles come with a cork if you pick them up from your local craft store, so that's a great savings. Otherwise, you can get a bag of mixed cork sizes for just a couple bucks. Next, we will need styling gel. Um, this is going to be the solution we use to help suspend everything and to help create our potion. Um, I picked this up at my local uh, dollar store, and um, a reason I use styling gel or soap or something along those lines um, versus uh, water or some other items, one, it gives a little bit of a suspension quality, which I really like. This one has some bubbles, which I really like for this particular um, bottle. It also isn't going to evaporate or dissipate um, like some uh, solutions would inside this bottle. So we should be able to use this for um, some years to come. Uh, the other reason I like using this is it's just, it's better than water. If you put water inside your potion jar, you are for sure only going to be able to use it for one um, party or Halloween season. It's going to start to evaporate. It is going to get kind of slimy. Um, and it'll get really gross. So anything that you put in there will just kind of be a waste. So this is something that we'll be able to use for quite a while. Next, you will need some beads. Um, you can get these at your local craft store. I actually picked these up at my local dollar store and they came in a variety of different sizes and colors. So don't uh, be afraid to wander those aisles at your dollar store and see what kind of items you can find. Next, we are going to need some glitter. This is kind of an opalescent um, white glitter. We're gonna put that inside there. That was a pack of eight that I got for just a couple bucks. So I'll be able to use some of the other colors in upcoming potion videos. Next, we will need our um, label for the bottle. And I actually printed this Siren Tears label um, on some sticker paper. So we're gonna be able to stick it right on our bottle without having to mod podge or glue it on there. And that was just a download that I got off of the internet. Next, our surprise ingredient is going to be silica beads. So these come in your shoes, some dried goods, um, things like that. And we're gonna use these because when you open them up, they have a really great bead quality and they um, take on some of the liquid because their purpose is to try to keep the item dry. So because they take on a liquid, they kind of get a little bit of a gel quality to them. Um, so we're gonna put these in there just to kind of give it a little bit more of a teardrop feel. And then to mix everything up and to get it all where we want, um, I'm using a long uh, cooking skewer, but you could also use a straw or any other long stick, um, metal um, piece of wire, anything like that. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to take our glass bottle or jar and we are going to add our silica beads. If you don't have any silica beads or can't find any at um, your local retailer, you know, a lot of times they'll give them to you for free because they come packed with um, their freight. Um, if they won't give you any, by all means, you could just use some clear beads. We just want to get a little bit of that um, drop feel to kind of give a mimicking to some teardrops. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of my glitter. And I usually just try to go upside down and give it a good couple taps on the top just so then that way some of the glitter will get into the bottom. You don't need to do a lot right now, just a little bit. And as you can see, there's already kind of some in there. Okay, next um, we are going to add just a few of these beads. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the darker color so we'll actually be able to see them once they are in the bottle. You can do just a couple of the light ones, but I think we're gonna be better off using um, some of the darker colored beads to kind of get that um, tear effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some of the gel. And it's really better if you can hold it up like this and get a stream in there because if you start to um, put it right to it, you can sometimes clog up that opening really easily. So once we get a little bit of a start in there, 
you can actually hear the silica beads cracking. Again, that's because they are made to um, absorb moisture when they are in um, a box or something like that of goods that may be being shipped. Um, so they are actually starting to take on the moisture from the hair gel. So they will um, get a little bit bigger and again, get that gel-like quality that we're looking for. Just kind of give that a good little stir in there. Once we get it started, then we can pull that out and we can continue to add um, some of our gel. And again, I'm gonna add just a little bit more of my glitter. And a few more of the beads. You don't have to put a whole lot of the beads for them to um, make a nice effect in your bottle. Just enough to kind of add a little bit of color and to call attention to the, um, to the beads that are in there that are helping to create that teardrop effect. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on time lapse, so then that way you can see me finish filling this up, and we will go through how to finish this up and embellish um, once I get done with this. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more gel um, because our cork is then going to go in. Just add a little bit more gel and then take our skewer and again you can kind of go around the neck of the bottle just to kind of stir it in and if any of your suspended pieces are not where you want them to be you can kind of move some of them around with the skewer at this point. I think we have a pretty good dispersal of some of those beads and the silica. So um, as you can see, you can see the glitter shimmer in the light. So it kind of gives a really whimsical feel. This wouldn't just have to be something for a Halloween party um, or for Halloween decorations or something like that. You could also maybe use this for like a little mermaid party or anything like that as well. And I think I'm going to put just a little bit more in here because my cork sticks out um, a decent amount, which I actually like because I think it adds a little bit of a different quality to it. Um, I'm going to take a edge of a paper towel and just make sure that my top is nice and clean and doesn't have any spray off from the gel or any excess glitter. And then you're going to take your cork and you're going to really stick it in really good. Now, you could glue this in if you want to. Um, I find that I don't really need to most of the time. Sorry, let me get a good press here. Get this nice and even. And I kind of like that this one sticks out a little bit more. Um, it just kind of adds a little bit of a, um, a different quality to each bottle. You don't want all of your bottles to look exactly the same and you don't want them to necessarily look store-bought. You want them to look unique and different because you made them. So um, in just a sec here, we're gonna go ahead and start to embellish it with its label. Okay, so we're gonna take our completed bottle now and we are going to add on its label. So what I like to do is find my least favorite side and that's the side I like to stick my label on. So I actually think that this is probably um, my least favorite side just because it has a few less of the beads and things towards the front. So we're gonna go ahead and um, take our sticker paper that has our label on it and we're going to go ahead and peel that backing off. So they usually have these rips in there so it helps you peel it. I'm just gonna peel that right off. And then we're going to line it up on our bottle. And just try to center it and get it as straight as you can. And if you mess up, it does peel off pretty um, easy to get it positioned exactly where you'd like to. It's a little crooked still. Okay, let's see how that looks. 
close, but no cigar. Okay, let me peel this off and try this again here. And I think we'll go ahead and go with that. So now we've got our label on our bottle, and now we're gonna add some embellishments. Okay, so now that I have um, added a few more embellishments, I added some teardrop charms to this one that I made the teardrops out of just some of the beads and some old wire and attached them with ribbon. And then on my Mermaid Wish, I actually took some of the netting that sometimes comes with um, some products that I would have put inside of the um, other potion bottles. I took a little bit of that, snipped it off, Add it to the top of this, tied it with some jute twine, and then added a um, starfish gem to that. Um, now we've got a little bit of a finished look on both of these. Um, and just as a reminder, Mermaid Wish is exactly the same um, mixture of items that we put inside of Siren Tears. So this is the same hair gel, glitter, and beads. We actually used the lighter color beads that came with um, the dollar store pack that I got. Um, but everything else on there is exactly the same. It's just the difference between the clear bottle and a colored bottle. So I was able to get two different potions with the same um, ingredients, but they have a different look because of them being in the different shaped bottles in different colors. Well, I hope you enjoyed this um, DIY, and I hope you uh, will have fun creating these for your party or upcoming um, Halloween event or mermaid party. Um, if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and leave any comments below. Thanks so much.